Hello, welcome. So just recently I had covered a game played by Ark, where he, basically a milestone game where he reached a thousand. And it's very rare for these kind of milestone games to be very, very good games. But, you know, Ark played a great game. If you haven't seen the video, watch it. It, it, was, a, it was a great game. It was a great way to reach a thousand. So me personally, I've been kind of like hovering around 1500. I've been above it. I've I was actually like 1560-ish, I think. Uh, but I lost like 100 points over the holidays. Because um, you know, I was drunk, not because I suck at chess. But uh, this is kind of like, I mean, it's not special. It's not my first time crossing 1500. But this is a game where I crossed 1500. And this is just to illustrate that not a lot of these milestone games kind of suck. <laughs> uh, I remember watching um what was her name uh the challenge accepted girl, michelle carre like her thousand game it was like some sort of janky like a forfeit or like it, it was like a really weird janky game but anyway um this is definitely not a good game uh i'm against your boy vincent 1471 uh i don't remember what happened this game i remember the ending to it and it was pretty bad okay so we got a car uh, I, I like to play this knight move. Um, I kind of need to research Karo Khan because I don't actually know how to play it. Uh, basically, I take my French opening. This is the way I play against the French. Uh, so what is it like this? Uh, this, this, this is the way I play against the French. So I'm basically like, you know, the opening that I play against the French, I'll just play it against a Karo Khan. <laughs> So here, I don't even know if taking is good, but I like rotating the knight here and developing like this. Uh, knight develops, knight develops, and here... Um, I don't remember why... Oh, right, right. Um, so I take with the pawn. It's pressuring the knight, so it either... It has no squares to move. I guess, like, this is okay, but, like... The idea here is that if you take, I'll queen trade and then I'll take you. So, well, I mean, you can't even take that. What am I talking about? Uh, so, what's the best move? Yeah, I guess that's okay. Um, just develop. Uh, computer likes doing this pressure stuff. Um, yeah, so at this point, this is a very common idea. So, this is... There's two attackers and one defender. So let, let's say I play a stupid move. Let's say this. You, know, you just pick up the pawn. It's very common. But, well, not this is common, but the follow-up idea of how to defend this, this is very common. So I think Black thinks he's being very clever. I think your boy Vincent thinks he's being very clever. I can't defend this pawn. Like, how, how do I defend it? Uh, how do I defend this? I defend it by castling. What, what are you talking about? Uh, it, it's it's just... I just lost a pawn. What am I talking about? So, this is what happened. Black took the pawn. I took the knight. And Black resigned. So, why did Black resign? You can just, just take it back, right? Like, you just won a pawn. But I think at this point, I think at this point, when I just snap took the knight, look, I, I spent I spent three... Well, I'm surprised that I actually spent three seconds on that move. I Usually, th this would take one second for me to play. Uh, so, in this position... Okay, computer's playing random moves again. In this position... Black resigns. Because this knight was actually hanging. You can't take this knight, because, well, look, I, I win the queen. So, <laughs> so I think in this position, Black saw that tactic. But for some reason, in this position, he didn't. So, yeah. 1500s were, were actually excellent at chess. So, there you go.